we have now, um, we, we demonstrated high efficacy data with response rate and high um, complete clinical response rates. Um, we also, of course, have not reached the duration of response, the median time, which is amazing in this patient population, which we know do not so well with chemotherapy. Um, and we will hear about the Keynote 177 data at this meeting, where we have a direct comparison between chemo versus immunotherapy. I think what is uh, further impressive is the progression-free survival rate at two years is 74% two years, and the overall survival rate at two years is 79%, indicating that this patient population does extremely well with immunotherapy. Now, I think what is very important, because ipilimumab is sometimes considered a more toxic immune therapeutic agent, but I think in this regimen, as it has shown in lung cancer and melanoma, one milligram per kilogram every six weeks, does not change the toxicity profile. In fact, the side effects are the same compared to NEVO alone. So this is a very well tolerated, very effective, with durable responses and durable progression-free survival and overall survival data that, as you know, the NCC and guidelines already included this regimen as a potential treatment option in first line for patients who do not tolerate chemotherapy. These data further support the use of this combination potentially in first line. 